presses the button on the tungsten trap door for Conan Whitehead to... He does. Well, this is, I mean, the script is written here for Conan Whitehead to, to miss the bullseye and then Quantog to hit it. But Whitehead doesn't have to bother with the bullseye. Is one going to go his way? You bet it is. Conan Whitehead gets the win. Conan Whitehead. sets up a real thrilling finale to Group B. It was long awaited. It was hard fought. But Conan has conquered Quantock in a last leg decider with a stunning 1-2-1 one, one checkout. A dozen data to get the job done. That was absolutely electrifying and just the start that was needed to set up a really intriguing tale on the final night of Group B. Coming next, we'll see if Daryl Pilgrim can qualify when he takes on Rob Grundy. Tons now we were going 130. Good switches and hitting doubles really effectively. This is really, really effective. Double eight. Game and it's a 12 dart. Rob Grundy Daryl needed a nine dart just to get in front. A shout. Now we were going 38. I think whatever he does, it's going to be double 19. And here's a record. Shot in the match. Another record for Daryl Mr. P. Pilgrim. Who has won 17 straight games. He has the record on his own now. And he will have a chance tonight to stretch that to possibly as much as 20. But the most important thing in that game, which was a fabulous game of darts, is that Daryl Pilgrim is in Saturday night and will have another chance to be a Super Series champion. Rob Grundy just has a little bit more work to do. When we come back, it will be Quantock back at the hockey against Mikels. That's interesting, isn't it? Respected amongst some of... The Dutch royalty and darts. Well, they'll respect him if he hits this, and he has hit it. A picture perfect Michael. finish from Moreno Michels, and now Chris Quantock might be starting to get that sinking feeling. Chris, you've got 137. Four players separated by two points. Hold the phone. Hold the phone. Oh, no, my word. How seven. did that not go in? Moreno, you've got 32. He must have thought it was in when it left his arm. Game but shot he the has match. had the nightmare Marino start to Michaels. the night. Chris Quantock losing his first two games. This is not a good start for him. He skips off the stage, head a lot to the ceiling. And Moreno Michels, well, look at the performance in the end. The doubling did it, four out of six, but it all amounted to an average of more than 100 and a 4-2 success that actually sees him leapfrog Quantock in the table. And there are only two points separating Michels, Quantock and Whitehead, who's back in action next against Rob. Stay away from the treble, does that, but now has to shuffle across to try and sight top. Game shot the and second that is beautiful. Conan Whitehead. Under that pressure. Conan White did that wish. Game shot on the fourth. And he makes the most of Conan it. Conan two, White. Two. They aren't putting him away as quickly tonight as they were yesterday. Fifth but there's still to time. First. Game on. Money's worth tonight here at the Motor Super Series to see Conan if he can beat McKells in game two. five. Lost all of his matches last night. Looked Game out of it. Now he's very much match. in it. Conan, Conan Whitehead, Whitehead wins his first two fixtures on qualifying night, on judgment night here at the Super Series. And he's in the mix to make it to champions night once again. The Series 1 winner could be there on that stage in Series 5. Very happy with his work this evening. A very different expression to the one that was on his face for most of last night. But Rob Grundy could be getting lured in. And Conan Whitehead is very much in the race to make it. He defeats Grundy 4-2. Coming next, the already qualified Daryl Pilgrim looks to carry on that winning run when he meets Moreno Michels. Daryl, not happy that he missed the full 16. And how ironic Moreno, it is Michael. that Moreno gets it with his first shot. Double top for 3-3. Three, three. Game shot on the sixth round. Now it's down to Moreno Darryl to hold Pilgrim. just to get the win. Is this Moreno requires 20. What a game. 
The streak is over. Shot on the match. It stops at 17. Moreno, Michael. But how valuable will those two points be for Moreno McKells, who now occupies a qualification position after everybody has played six games in this group? We all need a break now, including those two players. But when we come back, it will be Grundy and Quantock as the plot thickens. But that's what you've just seen. Moreno McKells, the streak breaker has beaten Pilgrim by four legs to three. Rob Grundy is now in real trouble. How awkward is that? Not Game at all. The third leg. Chris this Quintock. is world class. Right on the wire. Ten. Not once, not twice, Robbie but thrice. Robbie 72. And five darts for the match. That sounds familiar. Yeah, we've been here before. Mikel still got over the line, but Grundy... Oh, dear, oh, dear. It might only be the bullseye. Yes, it's an eight. Don't chase the treble here. This is way too much of an edgy situation. Guarantee that single. Big 14. Well, he gets a small 14. He did chase the treble. Needs the bull. Nowhere 31. near it. And surely now Quantock can close the door. Quite 10. The door is open again. Six. Robbie required 41. Maybe the sign of someone who has not won tonight. He said the door was open. Grundy does not walk through it. It seems to be some kind of revolving door, this one, doesn't it? Wow. What a mess. What a miss that is. We've 30. had the brilliant tonight. And now we have we require four. the flat out weird. Well, he's even made it worse for himself with the, with the next start. You, you called it quite early in this group that his bad dart was a low dart and he's actually starting to now pull them too low. It's all going wrong. No score. Nine darts for the match missed. Robbie require 11. Who's the weaker of the two? They're both floundering. Well, this could end up in double three. He stayed away from pulling it low and he gets two darts at double four. That becomes one at double two. And this Nine. leg is still not over. The pain on the face of these players. Four. This is now match dot 10. And Game it's in. Shot the it match. doesn't matter how you get there Chris as long as Quantor. you get there. Grundy loses his first three matches tonight. And his final game a little bit later on against Moreno McKells. We don't know the significance of that quite yet. But Corny, ahead of playing Daryl Pilgrim in game eight, has got himself two valuable points. And for now... He's looking good for qualifying, but that is not an assured statement. When we come back, Whitehead, in his final charge, now has Mikels and must win. That was yesterday against this guy. Double five. Game shot in the second leg. There's the intensity. Conan, what? Conan you require 96. And Moreno only just gets to a finish. Double 18. Game shot in the fourth. Doesn't there. get any better than that. Conan White. You cannot do any better than that on this dartboard to create the two dart opportunity. Oh, hang on a minute. Hold on. Double 16. Game Absolutely shot majestic the from Mikel's. Moreno Michael. That really is a wonderful world class finish because Moreno, who has been outside of the top three a lot of the time over the last couple of nights, has just found his way to the top three provisionally with one of the shots of the week. That 149 was absolutely otherworldly and he beats Conan Whitehead and limits him to six points only if he beats Conan, if he beats Daryl Pilgrim in the last game of the night. A thrilling evening. We'll go a little bit further as we see Pilgrim next again atop the table. Well, that's Game the way to do shot it. And the that match. is an absolutely fabulous performance from Daryl Pilgrim, and it's a performance that puts it beyond 
Chris Quantock, a great win for Pilgrim, 4-1, and Quantock falls now out of the top three and hasn't got any more lives left. Pilgrim already through, of course. He takes his tally to 12 points, just a one loss for him. We will see him at Champions Night. We'll see him again tonight, but we won't be seeing Chris Quantock. Coming next, Rob Grundy takes on Morena McKells. Size of the task for Conan, and it could be over here. One leg needed for Grundy to complete the Champions Night field. Game show and the there first it is. Leg. We have Rob Grundy. our Super Series Super Six for Champions Night. Robbie he 96. looks really likely to do it. Does Grundy look likely to do this? Double eight. Would seal it. 3 0. Game shot the third. And one leg. away from a whitewash win to end his camp. Get this done in six legs. Game and there it is. Shot and the match. Rob Grundy Rob finally Grundy. gets a win tonight. But he'd already won by winning the first leg of the contest. He goes to Saturday with Moreno Michaels or Mikels, whatever he wants to be known by. But here's the thing we're going to have a bit of an exhibition bout to finish off the Champions Week Group B. There you can see the name of Conan Whitehead from Series 1. He's not going to have it next to Series 5 on that trophy, but we will see Whitehead one more time when we come back as he takes on someone who is Saturday bound as well in Daryl Pilgrim. So we've got cameras, we've got action. We've got 164 checkouts on the ball. Game shot <laughs> the second leg. Weird. Conan Whitehead. Well, why is that happening for Conan now? That's his reaction, isn't it? They were going against him. Oh, you fancy here. 58. Conventional. Thirty eight. Not victorious. So we require 25. Well, you can't say he went out of the whimper. There was some big bang stuff in there from Conan Whitehead, but it's Pilgrim who John prevails. The match. Daryl Pilgrim. He comes from behind, 3 0 behind, in fact, there, Daryl Pilgrim. And he takes his points tally to 14, just one defeat in this group. It could have been a second one there as Whitehead produced the stunning stuff. The 164, he was 3 out of 3 when he led 3 0. But Pilgrim bounced back and capped off his campaign with a 4-3 success to put himself in finals night along with Rob Grundy and Moreno Michaels from this group. Andreas Harrison, of course, already there with Jim McEwen and Sebastian Biewetsky who qualified this afternoon. But Daryl Pilgrim puts himself in a very, very good position from 3-0 down to a 4-3 win and that is the way to sign off a remarkable Group B. Yeah, thank you very much, Chris. We're here on the stage. It probably wasn't a great idea straight after Conan Whitehead's play because we just had some projectiles thrown at us. But we're joined here by Darrell Pilgrim, winner of Group B. Darrell, many congratulations. Just sum up the last couple of days from your perspective. Yeah, um, yeah, I feel like I threw all right. And once I knew I was through, I, I kind of stepped off the pedal after that. But... That's annoyed me, though. I should have kept me focus after that. Was it a case of because you knew it was one win to, to go through, once you went through, is it almost a case of you naturally the adrenaline doesn't course through the body? and? Yeah, yeah, d definitely. When you know you don't need to do it, sometimes you can just step off the pedal. And I shouldn't have done that, but no, I'm still, still happy. You must be really pleased because people like myself who have been here at the Super Series uh, for a few years now, uh, we've seen a lot of different favourites come and go, but since minute one on Monday, everybody's been saying you're the favourite. How has it felt the last few days shouldering that favouritism tag? Uh, like I said, the other, I know if I, I play my game, then I feel I'm favourite against anyone in my head. So, yeah, it does bother me being favourite. I am dying to ask you this question because what was it like playing in that last game there? Because that looked like real fun. Yeah, it was because um, it was like a nothing game. Yeah it, it, yeah, it wasn't great to play, but yeah. 
fun now, but the serious yeah. business tomorrow night, back at Champions Night. You've made it through to a semi-final here before at a Champions Night here at the Super Series. You are the favourite going into it. Does that come with pressure to go on and win it tomorrow? Well, I pulled it. No, I just... I know if I play my game, then I always fancy myself to win, so it doesn't bother me if I'm favourite or not. It's been such a great year for yourself, Daryl. You've won on the Challenge Tour, you've played well on the Pro Tour, you've been the world number one, you've been the world champion. But if you were to have a successful night tomorrow evening, where would that compare to what you've achieved so far this year? Oh, that would mean everything, because it's, it's a tournament win. I mean, you can beat anyone in any game, but when it's an actual tournament win, it's more, more than just winning one game. Paul, just your final assessments on Dale? Well, I think he's been fabulous this week. I think if you look at what he did on Thursday, uh, getting the four wins, taking the pressure off when it came to Friday night, but I think what you said earlier tonight was key. You've got to come into the fifth game of a Group B situation and maintain intensity. And I think maybe you did him a favour last night by saying that there was something on the line in the fifth game by getting that streak are there any other records that you want to break before you possibly leave <laughs> us and go to the Pro Tour at some point? I don't want to see. No, I know my missus weren't happy when you mentioned that last <laughs> night. But, <laughs> but um, no, um, I never bother with records. I mean, most records I hold are highest losing averages. But no, I, I say I just want to win tomorrow. It was all about getting the Saturday night, no matter how I did it. But yeah, I'm happy to get there, so... And just finally, what's the prep going to be like between now and 7.30 tomorrow? Literally just chilling out. Mm -hmm. Can't think about doing anything else. Yeah, literally just chilling, get ready for tomorrow. Well, it's quite late, so we're going to let you go. Dal, thank you so much for your time. Much appreciated. We'll let you get ready for tomorrow. Many congratulations Cheers. on your week so far. We'll see you tomorrow Cheers. evening. I can Cheers. take right. that microphone off you. Thank so, Dal Pilgrim is through to tomorrow night's final. These are the groups that are in play for tomorrow evening's finale. We'll let you go, Dal. And I suppose in this type of format, Paul, and in this type of night, it's going to be very important to, to get off to a quick start, to get off to a fast start. One of the things that we know when it comes to Champions Night is that all of the players know the intricacies of the truncated groups where they play two games and two players will progress from each group. But the intensity will be heightened because of the financial rewards and what's at stake. That trophy, which is bigger than the weekly one, is going to be glaring at them all night long. And this place will be louder, it will be hotter, and the intensity is going to be really palpable so bring on saturday night for me i'm like daryl i just can't wait to get going Dal pilgrim he's going to go off the heavy favorite for this but who else can really say they can stake a claim towards being a real contender for this title definitely McEwen. i think you look at what he did in group c the numbers say it was comfortable it wasn't comfortable but just in the same way that daryl pilgrim has uh, found a way to top group b McEwen did the same, and Harrison's going to be fresh. There are so many different narratives coming into our Saturday night's play in Champions Night, and I'm glad that we've got about 15 minutes to talk about it before an arrow is thrown. Well, I shall see you tomorrow. Suit and boot it. I'll be here. Right, we shall make it a date. Half past seven, make sure you're here on the Super Series YouTube channel for Champions Night. Then we're going to be live on Sport Yourself TV from 10pm for the semi-finals and finals to see who is going to be the victor at the Super Series. Well, we know it's going to be a new name on the trophy tomorrow night. The first champion, Conan Whitehead, failed to make it through this evening. Who is going to lift that title? We're going to find out in a few hours' time. But the favourite, Darrell Pilgrim, he's going to be there. Mr P was pretty much Mr Perfect.